Hello everyone. Got a little construction going on at my apartment place. I apologize if there's extra noise. But we got our uh, Namekian Surge expansion set stuff today, so decided to do a little video on uh, uh, the decks you can build with the Namekian Surge expansion. Uh, basically, this is a little bit more for new players, but also for players who just want to play a different deck. So, at my local place, I got these three for $70, the two of the Namekian Expansions and the Magnificent Collection. Uh, if you already have cards in here, you don't need to buy the collection, obviously. This is more just for, this first part's for the newer players. We're also going to go over what you would do to upgrade the deck and replacement cards. So first, let's open up one of these expansions. I don't see any tape. Oh, no, there's tape on the side. Good thing I have this. So let's go ahead and take this off. And get these out. Let's all see if we get a hollow leader out of one of these. So uh, the starting deck that we're going to make is going to have 12 multicolor energy. It's important to remember that with that energy, you will have a 82% chance of opening with a... Oh, we got a hollow Goku on this one. We have 82% chance of opening with a multicolor energy. Uh, with 14 energy, you would have a 87% chance of opening. And at least one, by the way, at least one multicolor. And uh, with a... Uh, 16 multicolor energy of a 91% chance. They're these, of course, without mulligans. So our two hollows are going to be the Dr. Ryu's card and the Goku card. And then this is all the guaranteed stuff. So we have the leader, two of each card, the Krillins, the Roshis. I'm not going to go over exactly what the cards do because I always encourage people to research what your cards do. Don't just go by people making videos. We'll open these later where we're going to just go over the main content first because the rest is variance and we want to just go over what you're going to have really we'll open another one of these then we'll open the magnificent collection we'll just uh, do a this is what the base deck looks like and then we'll do our upgrades near the end we'll actually open the packs and see how lucky we got okay so we got a hollow of the krillin We'll see if we get the leader. Is the leader in here? Do we get a hollow leader? No, we got another hollow Goku. That's okay. And we only need one leader for now. And we got, so if we have a playset of our cards there, we'll put those to the side for now. Okay, so. I mean, we got two of these Gokus. Might as well foil ourselves out, right? So for those, we have a foil one of those, so let's add that in there, because we're all about doing that stuff. Oh, we have one foil Krillin, so do that, and we don't need the extra leader. So there we go. So that's the deck so far. And like we said, we have 12 multicolor to start, so we're looking at a 82% chance of opening at least one multicolor energy which isn't the best. I recommend you should try to get to the 16 mark. Going over that, you start to run to too many multis and you start uh, uh, having to play a lot of tapped energy. Um, but if you're going to go up to the 16, four of those should be the ignore energy exhaust. Oh wait, this doesn't have the tape. I can just open this. So there's a lot of good uh, staples in this. But if you already have them, or if you just want to buy the singles, that's fine too. You can even upgrade the rarity of some of the cards in here if you want to. Uh, this section doesn't really matter for us because nothing in here is usable for this deck. But we could see what foils we got. I think the foils are in this pack. Just because I'm sure people want to see the foil luck, which didn't give us a foil leader, unfortunately. But that's okay. And then after that, we'll go over what we're going to add in from the Magnificent Collection deck. So what are the foils? So we got this Gogeta, Broly, Frieza. Oh, that's kind of cool for the Broly decks. Alright. 
but yeah we can't use any of this stuff in our deck because none of it is blue green and the green cards and the blue cards are very specific so really we don't want to use any of that for this deck <laughs> you could just hear me throwing stuff okay so now let's open the actual Gogeta deck so we're starting at a $70 deck here but it's all usable stuff. Some of these things you can use in multiple decks. A blue-green deck with a green leader can just use hidden potential. You don't have to be the Piccolo. But Piccolo is looking like it's going to be the chase leader for the set for blue-green. Uh, where you have our objections. These eventually will come out because you, realistically you're not going to ramp in this deck. Because you need a sparking 10 for Gogeta which means if you're ramping you're not gonna have that sparking this kind of cool since we're also a blue leader as the piccolo we can actually use that so you get sparking 10 for the Gogeta our super combo for now dimension magic a lot of energy is blue these have burst which is relevant so that's kinda nice that can help us a little bit and I don't think we're using the rest of these cards so we can just put those to the side but with that, we'll have our 50 card deck. I will post uh, deck links as we upgrade this deck for you guys to see. That's two cards, four, four, four. I'm going to miss him. Oh, there he is. He's hiding from me. Four, four, and we'll put all of our two ofs at the bottom. Okay, so I'll have the link to this, but there's the deck with the leader for the hidden potentials, for the Gokus, for the Uryus, for the combo Krillins that kind of function like super combos, for the Master Roshis, which can get our uh, counter playback. For Gokus that are 20k, for super combos, for 20k Vegetas, for the Vegeta, or Gogeta I should say, for Objections, for Dimension Magics, for Sensu Beans, two of the Gogetas, two Whis Coercion, two Foos. So instantly the first upgrade you would do is you would add in a two copies of this Mira instead of these foos because what you want to do with this deck is play a Gogeta put your opponent's hand to three use your surge ability to warp two cards overwhelm play the Mira to make them lose their last card zero card hand go in for lethal if you're in lethal range uh, there is a Toa that is better than this it is a promo, so this is like a Tencent card. This is from set 4. It also was reprinted in Draft Box 4. Uh, so like 10 cents, two of them, so 20 cents right there. Uh, while the Toa would be a 3-ish dollar card, so like 5 $6 for two of them. Uh, they're both going to be the purpose of discarding that last card, but the Toa also gives your leader 5k. So... Uh, you can uh, take that as you will if you want to add the extra if you've already got these good if not depending on how much you want to invest you could just upgrade to the Toas if you don't want to invest a lot I'd say instantly you want to add in the mirrors to the decks of two mirrors um, because this is how you're actually going to win a lot of your games the basic line of setting your opponent's hand to zero so that's the first thing you would do right out of the box I'd say invest into either the two mirrors so 20 cents right there or five six bucks if you want to do the Toas uh, after that we would um, add in a few helpful cards so we would want to add in for the Gohans because this helps us control our life because we need to be at three life for the Piccolo really we need to be at four because the Gogeta will take a life for us so it will be uh, 4 life, Gogeta, 
three life, then we can use our Piccolo Surge ability. Uh, so we'd add in four Gohans. Uh, this is replacing our uh, Supreme Kai Super Combo, or not Supreme Kai, uh, North Kai. So basically this is at five life as in the Mickey Green Leader while that's at four life. So depending on the situation, sometimes you need a super combo at higher life totals. So that's why you'd add four of those. Finally, for the sacrifice, this does not have a uh, um, sparking requirement, so it's good for early game for negating stuff. You can just take the life negate, so it's good against double striker, triple strikers early game before you get a lot of stuff in your drop area. Um, and all these cards that we're adding are from set four. So all from the same set makes it super easy. So uh, we would end up cutting the Weiss's coercions because we're adding in the sacrifices. We're still keeping the Sensus, we're still keeping the Dimension Magics. Probably going to cut two of the objections also. So there's our sacrifices. So we'll keep two in for now. It's not the best card but uh, it'll do. And yeah, we're gonna cut these. You could argue that these are always 10k, while uh, this is a zero until you reach the life total, but that's okay. We'll throw these to the side. We're still gonna keep the four Gokus in. Uh, we will keep the Master Roshis in, because now they can also get our sacrifices back. So that's relevant, but we will remove the Krillins. We're going to be going to the uh, the offense and defense step less because of extra negates. So we want to cut these Krillins, and what we're going to do is we'll add in the Gohans. So we can uh, make room for Gohan. I didn't feel like getting a whole bunch of copies of cards out, so that's why we have this. Okay. So we can go over the deck really quick and see these changes we've made. So now we're running four sacrifice, four of our Namikian super combo, and all these things are like 10 cent cards. We didn't add anything of real expense here uh, for the Vegetas, for the Roshis four of the Gokus. If you wanted to skip some steps, eventually there's probably going to be three sacrifice in this deck. But you can still get the four if it's just another ten cents. And um, you could always add in your side deck for Dimension Magics, for the Gohans, for the Uryus, for the Gokus, for the Hidden Potentials, two of the Miras or Toas, depending on what you wanted to invest into, two Objections, and two Gogetas. Um, the next budget thing depends on you. So there is uh, two options. There is either this uh, Bad Omen Android 21. Um, this depends. If you've already bought the starter deck, hey, you've got it, you should add it. It's one of the best multicolors you can play. If you need that extra hit, it gets it for you fairly easily. Uh, the only issue is if you don't have the starter decks, this is going to cost you a few dollars. So if, if that's the case, your next goal should actually be to add Android 17 in. Uh, this will allow you to get up to your 16 multicolors. If you didn't have the 17 and you had the starter deck card, start by doing that first and you would replace some of these um, Dr. Oreo's rebirths with uh, these bad omens. You want to get four of those in there. Now you might want to wonder why we didn't replace the Goku. Uh, the reason we didn't replace the Goku is the next step after that. So let, let's just say we went to the 17th step. We can remove these two objections because our plan really isn't to ramp at this point. And we can start removing Roshis. and we can add in the 17 so now we're at our 16 multicolor energy so that's great we would have the ability to use our uh, 
91% odds of getting a multi in our opening hand at that point. Uh, I would not recommend going up to 16 without the 17. Stay at 12, 14 range. Uh, if you, for some reason, did not have our next card, G the Cruel, where that you would use to upgrade the deck, which is a 15 with this Goku, well, let's say, hypothetically, you didn't want to pay the 5 bucks for each copy. I'd say get 3 copies. You don't need to get up to 4, but at least 3. But if for some reason you didn't want to do that upgrade, there is a sol solution of taking these out. And a card in set A, which could be in those packs you open, another like few cent card, is this Goku. So it's a 20k Goku, which can go with the other Vegeta. So you can replace these Gokus with the 20ks. But I'd recommend... First, asking yourself if you're going to get Vegeta Cruels. If you're getting Vegeta Cruels, the 15k Goku should stay in, and we should start making room for Vegeta the Cruel. So at this point, we're going to start removing some extra cards. So we need to finally get rid of the f final two um, copies of our Roshis. And we also want to get rid of one copy of the sacrifice and go down to three copies of sacrifice and we would still need to get rid of one more card to make room so you you could argue to just remove uh, one of these Delhi Defender Vegetas at this point since you're going to start having the 15k option. That's if you want it to go up to four copies. But like I said, I think three copies is good enough. But that's your consideration if you want to do uh, three or four. So we, I, I'd say just stick with three for now, depending on how much money you want to start putting to the deck. Because you're looking at $15 at that point. Well, everything before this was... Uh, two bucks per card or ten cents per card So we can look at the deck and see what we have now this this is a pretty fair form of the deck at this point uh, with two Gogetas two Miras four copies of our hidden potential for the Gokus to go with the Vegeta Cruels for the Bad Omens for the Gohans for the Dimension Magics for the Sensus for the 20k Gokus uh, that also can burst for us. Four of the Vegetas, four of our Super Combo, four of our Android 21, three Sacrifice, and three Vegeta the Cruels is what we would be at at this point. Um, some cards you can add in, but I don't think are necessary, but they're good spice, is you can add Special Beam Cannon, another card from Set 4. So this is another card that you can use to make your opponent discard a card. So if you don't have the Mira, you can go into Special Beam Cannon. Um, since the leader, you would pay 5 to do the Gogeta, but then you would do your Surge, which would let you untap one of your energy, so you could use the Cannon. I don't recommend it over the Toa, since I'd rather save that one energy for something else, but it is an option for your deck. You might also be wondering why we only have two Toas, two, uh, uh, two Mirrors in this case, and two uh, Gogetas. So they're fairly dead outside of playing them for your win. You're not going to overwhelm any time prior to that. And also because of our leader's front side, we're basically uh, looking at more cards. So having two copies is enough. And the next, the other thing you could add to the deck is this Piccolo. It's from Draftbox 4, which is why... It's not necessary, and it's really tough to add unless you already own it. But it's another burst, which is helpful for getting to your 10 for your Gogeta. It also lets you search out 10k combo cards. So it's really good because it can let you search out the Gogeta. It lets you search out your other uh, multicolors, like your 17s. And that's pretty much it in this deck. Just your multicolors and your Gogetas. But th that's still nice enough, and it's a burst. So if you want to add one or two copies, no more than two, you can add that. But at this point, we're talking about optional cards. So that that's just some ideas for you. And finally, the next upgrades are just pure, I have money and I want to fully add into this deck. 
you'd add in Paragus because it is just way better than our Namekian combo if you really wanted to spend extra money on it. So it, it's just flat out superior to our Namekian super combo, wherever he is. Uh, but not everyone has the money to do that, so I can understand if you want to stop at the Namekian. Namekian. And then we also have our at all cost Vegeta. So this is starting to give us other lines to win the game. It's not as strong as our primary line, but it is helpful. And especially if you don't have the sparking tent, getting to that is helpful. So you can start removing like a uh, deadly defender Vegetas. If some for some reason you uh, start cutting these Kaioken Gokus and maybe you, you don't have the Vegeta Cruels, once again, adding in the 20k Goku, it's another thing that works out at all cost. And uh, the other bling cards you can add in are UI Goku. I unfortunately don't have any to show you here because I sold all mine when they were 70. It's not worth 70 to me of a 2 of in a deck that got weaker with the ban of Zeno Button. So if I need it, I can buy them at cheaper now. And of course, <laughs> after saying that, I'm pulling out the flex card, uh, eventually adding a one of SCR. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is also helpful. But that's maximizing the deck at that point. This is really the goal for the deck without throwing too much money at it. At this point, you would have paid $70 for the... Uh, two expansions and the uh, collector, a Magnificent Collection deck, which you have another deck just right there if you want to play the Magnificent Collection, a lot of staples. And then you would have added in another dollar in uh, just these extra cards. Uh, you would have added in another uh, $8 in uh, seven teams. Uh, another fifteen dollars on which you the cruels, so that's twenty five and another let's say uh fifteen for the bad omens, so you were looking at forty, so at that point we the deck went up to a little bit over a hundred dollars, but that's the goal um is to get to that point, just first worry about the basics, which is by the two expansions and the Magnificent Collection and instantly get two of the Miras. Artoas is your first goal. After that everything else I, I'd say start doing the Tencent cards because th they're helpful for the deck anyway. And then after that 17 and Bad Omen are the next things for consistency. And then Vegeta is just when you start really investing into the deck is when you have the Vegetas. But uh, that's basically our little discussion on getting up to search piccolo deck and that's the most common line like we said is to play our uh, gogeta set our opponent's hand to three use our piccolo surge ability to warp two of their cards and then overall mirror slash toa to get rid of their last card if you're running special beam cannon you can also special beam cannon to get rid of their last card but for the fun part let's open some packs since they came with this and see what kind of stuff we got so we got a SPR, so that's good. And real quick, I'm, ju I'm just looking for the Goku to say in theory, oh hey, we pulled a Goku, so we can use in the deck from there. So nice SPR. Thank you guys for watching once again. A super rare, so pretty good pulls out of these packs so far. This is, this is three packs that came with one kit, by the way, that I'm opening. I, I don't put them to the side, but that that's what we're looking at right now. SR and SPR. Looks like I got pretty lucky with this thing. And uh that that's helpful for other decks. So nice. Weiss. And there we go. So yeah, we started pulling the Goku. So that's nice. You could add that to the deck instead. If you don't have the Vegeta the Cruels, you want to start replacing the fifteen Gokus with these. But definitely some good value there. Nothing that's usable in that deck unfortunately, but hey, still nice cards. 
another thing I didn't mention is uh, if you wanted to add other rival cards, you can add like the Gohan Goku. That's another draft box four card though. So uh, we're looking at investing a lot of money at that point. See in this pack, we got one of the signature campaign rares. So this is the other kit we're looking at at this point. Oops. And this was just a rare. It's another 15 Goku, but we're not looking for those Gokus at this point. On our final pack, let's see what we got. Just a uh, rare. But, oh well. Still, I was surprised we got an SPR out of one of those. So, there we go. Decent. One super rare, one of SPR, one campaign rare, and one of the multicolored Northerners exhausts. Is decent. We mostly did it to build this deck, but hey, we got it. So, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this, I hope it taught you guys some things, and I wish anyone best of luck that wants to go for the Piccolo Surge deck. Uh, I will say one thing about it though is, as strong as that combo is, something like a Champa already ruins your day, it's gonna tap your uh, win condition, and since you're the turn player, your auto would shuffle their hand draw three, and then they would get their auto to tap draw one. So they'd have a four card hand instead of a three card hand, which means your combo actually is not going to leave them with a zero card hand just off of a Champa. So keep that in mind against yellow X uh, decks, is that Champa can uh, make your Gogeta combo sad. Best of luck everyone. Bye.